I'm glad that went well. <laughs> all right, hey folks, so let's talk about how all this was made. Michael here has the scene open in Unreal Editor so we can take a closer look. For the environment, we built this level using Quixel Megascan assets, many of which are available in the Fab UEFN plugin. We also used custom content that we built just for this demo. For the gameplay you just saw, we, ha we hand placed enemies using a creative device called a guard spawner, which generates the aliens that you saw at specific locations. However, we wanted to do more and introduce dynamic play that goes beyond what the current creative devices can do. So to do this, we used our new programming language called Verse. So in this short section of code, every second we grab the position of the player. And for each spawn location, we then calculate the distance to the player. And if it's within a certain threshold, we tell that guard to spawn into the level. So now we have gameplay that's more reactive to the player's actions. This is just a short example of using Verse, but for a deeper dive, check out the Verse Tech Talk later today. Now Michael is going to show us how we put the intro cinematic together. Hi, everybody. So before the gameplay section, we played this quick cinematic uh, animation. This was actually created entirely in UEFN using Sequencer. Sequencer is our multi-track editor, and it's been used in everything from in-game cinematics to Hollywood feature films. So let's take a look. Uh, and now all of this stuff is available right inside UEFN. So let's take a look at this last shot from a slightly different perspective. So the other thing we featured in this section was a bunch of Niagara. Niagara is now available in UEFN, and it's our uh, high-end VFX system. So, uh, and just like in the movies, you, get, you can frame up shots and have great effects. So what we're going to do here is just set this up. So just like in the movies, you can have slow-mo too. Makes everything better, right? <laughs> so these are just a sampling of some of the stuff that you can do inside Sequencer. But let's get back to the game. All right, so now that we're back in the game, in UEFN, you have access to Fortnite's time of day system. Or you could use what we did and do what we did and use a completely custom lighting solution. And thanks to Lumen, both daytime and nighttime look great. Now, let's go to the final gameplay section and let's close out the demo. But as a reminder, everything that you're seeing here was created in the same version of UEFN that we're releasing today. I think I'm going to jump in here and help you, right? I'm all for that.